All right, guys, we are going to jump right into this because this is such a quick and easy event style. I'm going to detangle my hair with my favorite brush. And my hair is already air dried, but I'm going to re-wet it. It has leave-in conditioner and heat protectant in it. Now that my hair is damp, I am going to apply Bodybuilder by Kevin Murphy. It's going to give me a flexible and shiny hold for my hairstyle. So I'm just going to put that in my hair section by section. I just want to make sure that all my hair gets a little bit of this product. Now, for the blow dry, I'm going to blow dry on warm and cool air. We're not looking for a flat, super straight blow dry when we do this. We just simply want to stretch the curls out. And this is more gentle for your curls anyway. Here's what it looks like after I've stretched my curls out. It doesn't have to be perfect. We just need a smooth base for when we're wrapping hair around the iron. So, it might be puffy, but it's okay. So now I'm going to section my hair and get ready for some curling. I'm going to work with like the bottom half of my hair first and split that in half. Then I'm going to take that half and split it into another half and that will be the first section that I begin curling. So I'm going to take that first section, open my iron and place the hair on top of the iron and wrap inwards, getting as close to the root as possible and getting the ends in there as much as possible too. not gonna brush these curls out just yet we're gonna let them all sit and cool like that until you finish curling your entire head all right now for the next section i just sprayed it with a little bit of non-aerosol hairspray and i messed up a little bit on this one but that's okay we got it wrap on top of the curling iron then let it go now next section i'm gonna spray it down with some hair resort work it in the hair and take that section open my iron up and place the hair on top Roll inward, try to get all the hair in there as flat as possible and get those ends too. Next section, same thing. And I'm basically just gonna do this throughout my whole head, guys, in the same fashion, getting as close to the root as possible, rolling inwards and holding it for a bit, then letting the curls go. And remember, we're not gonna brush this out until we're done curling the whole entire head. I hope you guys got that. I hope it was easy to see how I'm curling the hair. I'll let you watch this next section, then I'm just gonna jump to when I've curled the whole entire head. So your curls should look something like this, and now we're ready to brush them out. We're gonna start at the bottom, and you can tease them at the peak of the waves if you want to, it helps to hold better. So again, brush starting from your ends and just fuse your waves together. You can stretch them out so they lay on top of each other. Just like that, and now next section, same thing. Brushing from the ends. As I'm brushing, I'm pulling them at like the sides, the top, the bottom, because I don't want it to look flat and like just one wave. I want it to look 3D so you see the wave coming from like all of the sides. Now I'm just going to reinforce that wave that I see with a little bit of heat. You can decide if you want the front to look voluminous or if you want it to lay really flat against your scalp. I want to wear this side flatter, so I'm just going to hold it there with a creaseless clip. So now I'm ready to do the other side and I'll just let you guys watch how I brush this out and mold it.
Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I'm just putting some finishing touches on it. I just wanted to see the wave brought out a little bit more. And you can like shake it out and pinch every like peak of the wave just to make it like bigger. All right, well this is the finished look guys. I hope you like it. If you end up trying this look at home, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. I'll put my handle down below. Bye, see you next time.